Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I want to do kind of a everyday like glam type of thing. And it's like just a really easy kind of smoky eye-ish, just a, something really easy to do. So if you want to know how to get this look, then keep watching. So first I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And I'm just going to apply this to any beauty sponge and just apply it to the eyes and where, where I will be applying any eyeshadow. And this will just make sure that your eyeshadow stays all day. And then I'll be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying this just to the eyelids. And this will make sure that your eyeshadow just sets and doesn't crease at all. I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette and just applying first a white shade just to set, just to use as a base coat. And starting off with a very light tan brown color and we're just going to gradually get darker as we go on. I'm just going to apply that first with my Morphe E18 brush and then blend it out with my Morphe M535 brush. And well, and then I'm going to go in with two darker shades, starting off with the lighter one first and then moving on to the darker one and once again just applying that to the crease. And then going a shade darker and just keep in mind that I am blending between each of these colors that I'm adding although I may not show it in the actual video but blending is just really crucial in this look and then going in with it once again another darker shade and adding that to the crease just making it look kind of ombre and gradually changing from lighter to darker colors And next, I'm going to take any just flat, straight top brush and just take any black eyeshadow that you have and apply that just to the crease line to make your eyes look more drawn out. And then applying once again that white shade just to the crease before we set any actual lid, lid excuse me, lid color. And I'm going to take the first this gold color and just apply it with a brush first. And then later you'll see that I'm going to take it with my finger to make the pigment more bright. And this is just a any trick that you can use with any like any shade actually and it'll make the pigment appear more bright and then I'm going next in with my Almay liquid liner and I don't know why but when I was uploading this video like my Software just deleted like the first part of all of my clips, so that's why this looks so weird. And I'm going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, as usual. And this is a trick, you can take any makeup remover wipes and you can just, any fallout you have or any way you want to shape your eyeshadow, you can just draw it out with that. But make sure you do it without any foundation on. I'm going to prime my face using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer and just applying that all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with this new foundation, Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. And I've been loving this stuff lately. It's really lightweight, although the coverage is like really pretty. And then I'm using my Morphe M439 brush, of course, to just blend all that out. And then using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just highlighting any places in my face. And 
and then I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. And just set my face with any translucent powder and just to just make sure that it doesn't wrinkle and that your makeup doesn't fall out. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. And then I'm going to use my Milani Baked Blush and apply that to my cheeks, which is, I'm using the shade Luminoso, but once again, my film cut out. And then just applying a powdered highlighter just to make it kind of like a air natural look. And I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. And then for lips, I'm using the NYX Lingerie Lip Color in the shade Honeymoon. And since this is such a dark color, I'm going to apply this very carefully. And since I don't have a liner, you have to be very careful when you get to the corners because dark colors will bleed. And then last but not least, I'm using my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray, and that's how we will finish this look. And that's how you get this look. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, please like down below and subscribe to my video. Thanks, guys. <laughs>